<clears throat> How's it? Welcome to Chateau Felix, residence of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's helper. Are you here to see him? <coughs> Excuse me? But Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat, I'll let you in just now. Question number one. It's light, and it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? Hmm. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king, but you don't manage to find any prey. Then you find a tiger in a trap in the woods. The king is some way off and hasn't noticed the tiger yet. So, what do you do? Hmm. And question number three. You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked by a great cyber cat. You manage to overpower the cat, but it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. So, what do you do? Hmm. And now, to let the cat out of the bag, let's see how you did. Perfect. You've proved that you're the cat's whiskers, a real hip cat. <coughs> you have permission to see Master Felix. You can go in.
Hmm. I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You've called me at a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. There. I think I'll take a breather for a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well, Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes. You might just be able to assist me. There's a little undertaking I need some help with. Allow me to explain. It's an old chum of mine, you see. Gone and got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I, I've got a lot on me plate just at the moment. Oh, that's where you come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Capital! Right, I'll tell you what you need to do then. Around these parts, there are four great Sabercat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over here. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn. And that's precisely where the old chap is, you see. All I need you to do is go there and give him this. He's a clever old bean. Just give him that and he'll know what to do. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay me a visit. I'll have a little token of appreciation for you. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple of the Saber Cat statues. It's worth taking a look before you go off exploring. Ah! Golly! I nearly forgot. I suppose you've never ridden a great saber cat before, eh? Well, this'll be a fine chance. Speak to Tom. He'll give you what you need. Give the old speed a bit of a boost, what? Tom will explain the rest. Master Felix at side? What? Master Felix asked you a favor? Oh, he must think you're the cat's pajamas if he gave you the go-ahead to ride on one of his great saber cats. Oh, great! I was right to let you in. I could tell you were a hip cat. Okay, so are you ready to get on? That's it. No pain, no gain. Oh, yeah, looking smart, Brew. Okay, let me tell you the basics about riding a great sabre cat. When you're riding one of these cats, you can go a lot quicker than you would on foot, but you can't go further. You can just go to all the same places faster. Some people get that wrong, so I wanted to explain. If you get off and accidentally lose your cat, come back and see me. I'll lend you a cat as many times as you like. That's it. You're ready to go. Good luck.
Did you get that powder? What? Master Felix gave it to you. This is unbelievable. Of course. Now I finally understand. I thought it was a bit strange. I just kept going round and round and round in circles. You've been a great help. If you hadn't come, I might have been wandering around here forever. Would you mind opening that bottle and sprinkling the powder around? If you see Master Feelings again, I'd like you to give him a message from me. Tell him that I, Bormren, owe a lifetime of happiness entirely to him. Farewell and good health on your journey. to give my old charm a leg up. That strange tree where you met him has been known since ancient times as the Tree of Sticks. It's all too bally easy to lose your way around it, not realizing that your innings is over. But now the old beans realized what's happened to him and he's safely on his way to the afterlife. 
You know he, Boren, was the first Sabercat ever to open up his heart to me. Absolutely terrific chap. It's thanks to him that I've got where I am today. And that's precisely why I couldn't leave the job unattended to go and help the old boy myself. Hmm? What am I doing? Of course, I haven't explained yet, eh? I'm the chairman of the Great Sabercat Trust. I know. Why don't I make you a member? It's the least I can do after all your help. You have this. It shows you're one of us. The bell is your proof of membership. It'll call a nearby Sabercat if you ring it in the right place. Hmm? What's the bell called? It doesn't really have a name. I suppose that'd make it a bit of a pig to use, eh? Righto! How about we call it Bormren's Pell, eh? In memory of a good friend and a fine old gent. Thanks for your help. Remember now, always keep the Sabercats in your heart. What?